Every embedded system needs to be appropriately safe for its intended application. The issues that arise in software safety can often be quite subtle, but deadly nonetheless. As an example, in September 2016, General Motors had to recall 4 million vehicles because of a software defect that caused a fatality in a 2014 Chevy Silverado truck. The defect involves the airbag unit going into test mode during vehicle operation. If the airbag unit happens to be in self-test mode during a crash, the airbags do not inflate and the seatbelt pretensioners do not activate. This defect is especially tricky because its effects only appear when there's actually a vehicle crash. More generally, there are a number of anti-patterns that typically indicate you have a problem with the safety of your embedded system. First, if your requirements do not explicitly address safety, even if only to explain why your system is not safety critical, then that's a problem because it is common to have embedded systems that are safety critical in ways the designers did not consider. Next, assuming that safety is relevant to your system, you should be following a safety standard appropriate to your domain. If you aren't following a safety standard, that's a problem. Next, your safety analysis must address the likelihood of software defects. Assuming that your software is perfect and only looking at hardware failures is a problem. Finally, any life-critical application must have redundancy, and it's a problem if you do not manage that redundancy the right way. An essential theme for achieving safety is that it is not sufficient that the system seems to be okay. It is necessary that you are actually sure that the system is safe and can demonstrate to others that your system is appropriately safe. Correctness of your code is only a starting point because safety not only deals with the absence of bugs, but also making sure that the requirements for your system are also safe. Additionally, things break and fault responses must be accounted for in the safety argument. This includes hardware faults such as broken components, transient faults, and just plain weird stuff happening, but it also includes mitigating the potential for software faults.